what happens when you teach structure or, or how we organize information rather than information, when you focus on getting at the underlying organization of information, which is what causes meaning, mm -hmm. right? We call that M equals IO. When we organize information, we make meaning. Right. It's, the information itself isn't what's giving us the meaning. It's right. how we organize the information. And that the way we organize is through these four patterns, DSRP. Right. So when a kid learns this structure, let's say, you know, perspective circle is one structure, mm -hmm. right? Which is taking di uh, multiple perspectives on a thing. Yes. And seeing the thing differently as a result. When a kid learns that structure here, and then they learn it here, mm -hmm. what that does is it creates a connection between them. Right. And these are two sense. different topics, like English and math. Yeah. This is math. This yep. is English. And they go, oh, math and English, they're kind of, sim they have similar structure. Mm -hmm. They have similar, and that, now I can make analogies between them. Now I can make metaphors. Mm -hmm. Now I can make similes. I can do all kinds of things with that. Mm -hmm. I start to see that they're connected, that they're not disconnected. Right. And we, we call that vertical transfer. Which is across topics. Yeah, we call it vertical because it's happening across topics. Yeah, okay. And when it, when they see that, oh, what I learned here was structured this way, and then all we're doing is building on that structure and adding more structure with more information in it, and then we're just adding more structure and more information over here, then this is called horizontal transfer. Right, because that's across the grades. Yeah. Same topic across the grades. So that's one kind of transfer. This is another kind of transfer, mm -hmm. right? Now, there's, there's two other kinds of transfer. There's near transfer mm -hmm. and far transfer. So near transfer is like I, I learn something in one domain and I apply it to something else in that same domain. Right. So that's called near transfer. So what an example would that be like, I learn something in biology that I'm also going to learn and that I'm going to take over chemistry or? No, it would be like, I learned something in biology and I apply it to something, you know, in biology. Oh, yeah. you're saying inside yeah. the topic. Inside the nice. topic. All right. And then far transfer is I learn something in biology and I apply it to like relationships. Ah. Right? Like dating. <laughs> like dating or something like that. That's yeah. far transfer. So outside of the domain that I learned it in. So I, I don't. You probably remember when we were working with, it's like uh, adjudicated. Oh, uh, we worked in in a really interesting program for. It's yes. like pins per yeah. people in need of super. Yes. Juvenile offenders. Yes. Who were removed right. from the school. Yeah. And they were put in a um, uh, a supervised in inpatient kind right. of place, but they were still taking school. They were still doing there, school, and this it. kid came to us and, and we were working in there and I came remember. to us and his teacher and said, I learned this in biology, This uh, these structures, these part whole structures, and yeah. is it okay if I apply them in therapy? That's right. Right? Yeah. That's far transfer. Yes. That's really important. So notice there's a similarity across all these, <laughs> no pun intended, which is transfer. These are yes. all different types of transfer. Mm -hmm. And here's the most important part. Transfer is the holy grail of learning. Yes. Now, why would that be the case? Because if we can learn something in one domain and transfer it to another domain, then we can 2x or 10x our learning. If a kid has learned something and then transfers it to a near domain, then he's 2x his learning. If he transfers it to another domain, then he's 3x his learning. If he transfers it across all these domains, then he's 10x his learning, right? What that means is that if, if we can increase transfer, when we teach one thing, we can teach 10, 100 things because the kid is teaching themselves things. Yes. And that's far more efficient form yeah. of teaching for the kid yeah. to teach themselves things than any kind of teaching from the outside can, can muster. Does that make sense? Yes, it makes sense. Okay. Transfer is the holy grail of learning because transfer is the hardest thing to, to get across. And the part that we miss all the time, and this is kind of the, the I guess, the, uh, the nut, no pun intended. <laughs> what transfers is not the information. What transfers is the organization. Because the information across all these places is so different. Mm -hmm. That's not what's transferring. What's transferring is the relationships between the variables. That's what's transferring. 
Yes. So when we teach kids these underlying structures, the six moves, part zoom in, zoom out, is, is not, list, part party, barbells, and perspective circles, the most important six moves. When we teach them that, what we're teaching them is the crux of this stuff. And that increases transfer, which means we're discovering the holy grail of learning.